today with my new garment steamer made by Sterline. Uh, simple concept is you're going to plug it into the wall. You've got a maximum fill line here on it. The top has little grooves that lock it in place. Um, so you've got your little piece there that would fit in place and then it spins to turn it so that it locks in. What I'm going to do here is fill it with a little bit of water. I guess I don't need to fill the water again because I already put some in my little cup here. You're going to put it to the maximum fill line. You never want to go over your line. If you go over and you turn it on, you're going to have crazy amounts of hot liquid bouncing out the front. We're going to put this in place here. We're going to lock it. Hang on, I need my hand. It's locked in place and we turn it on. What's going to happen is over about the period of a minute, it's going to heat up. Meanwhile, I have a very wrinkled garment over here hanging that I wanted to take all the wrinkles out of for tonight. You can slowly see that there is some noise occurring. I'm going to pause it for one second. Not sure how well I can catch this on camera or not, but there are bubbles building in there as your water kind of boils, which in essence is going to make your steam. When it has hit the stage of boiling, you're going to hear the noise kind of bubbling, and you're going to start to see a steam coming out the front here. You can definitely feel it. And what you're going to want to do is then go up to your garment and pull it along. Um, somehow I did overfill just a little. You're going to pull it down in even downward motion against your garment. And you're going to slowly work all your wrinkles out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue working these wrinkles out of here. And then I'm going to pause it for another second and come back and show it towards the tail end without the wrinkles in here. I just want to be able to work with two hands. But you can see as the wrinkles are coming out of the material, and it, it varies from materials that you use on how well things are going to become wrinkle-free. But it's as simple as that to use. Simple up and down motions. And your wrinkles will slowly just fall away. Okay, as you can see, now I've taken my steamer. I've worked my way over the majority of this garment. I took a piece that basically came packaged in a tiny little wrinkly bag that has been in a bag for who knows how long and I've run my steamer over it and in a matter of minutes without the hassles of needing an ironing board and an iron and everything else I've gone ahead and I've removed the 8 million wrinkles and creases from the bag. So when you are done, what you're going to want to do is turn it off. If you need to continue to use your steamer, turn it off before you put more water in. Turn it off. Let it cool. I've kind of steamed up my mirror here a little. Unplug it. When you're done and it has cooled, take off your end, empty out the excess water, and let it dry out before you package it up. You are going to be best if you use distilled water with this so that there isn't sediment forming in your actual steamer. Other than that, we have a great little steamer here, folks. I purchased it on Amazon. Thanks, everybody.